What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome back to the Yuvakami Region Series 2 episode number 16 with SSV Frankfurt. This is part 2 kind of um, of the last episode that we had. It was going to be one episode but we had to split it up. Can you drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated and I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Just received the news that our youth player in Hendy Garbrick wants to cancel his contract. We're going to take a look at him before making a decision whether to sign him or to release him. Let's take a look. And here he is, then he is a CDM, we are going to release him. He's still a good player at 79 to 85, we've just got too many centre midfielders, so we are going to say goodbye to this player. And again, a youth player in Rubinho want, is wanting to cancel his youth academy contract. Let's just go over and take a look at him as well to see if he is worth keeping or not. By the looks of that, he is a right back, 60-64 and a 75-80 one, we are going to release him. We've got a monthly scouting update then from Holland. Brings us back and 69 to a 94. We're going to sign this player up as 79. We're going to reject. Oh, and another 94 in Michael D. Witt. Uh, we're going to sign this guy up for definite. An 83, we're going to reject. An 84, we're going to reject. And an 80, we're going to reject as well. We're not done there yet, lads. We've got a scouting update available from Turkey. Brings back an 88. We'll scout for a further month. We're going to reject this player here. A 78. We'll reject a 65. And an 82. So his only decent player is, is Kizimail. Uh, is the only player that is decent on that squad report. So we're going to scout him for a further month. So then here we go. It's SSV Mainz 05 against FSV Frankfurt. Now I do understand there is two games. So we are away in the first game. Whether or not away goals rules do count. But we will do our best to try and get as many goals as possible. Here is your starting 11. Nilsson in goal, Kaleem, Evans, Bullock, Khalid, Sekulin, Vildshut, Bacalaz, Kadira, Niani and Sonogo are up front. We're going to play five minutes of this game here. He, oh, it's good football is this. Well done. And the ball's come across into a dangerous area and wow, what an unbelievable finish that was. He just smashed it into the roof of the net and we find ourselves 1-0 down early, very early on after seven minutes. It's not what we had in mind without question. It was a good ball into a dangerous area. We just couldn't deal with it. And it just arrived and just smashed it into the top of the net. Nilsson more or less moved out of the way of it rather than saving it. To be honest, I don't blame him because if it's hit his head, it would have took his head off his shoulders. It's Mainz 1, Frankfurt 0. Here's Julia Hock. Here's Yakazaki into Cock. Back to Zakiaki, who's shot. Wow, what a save by Nilsson. He is causing us problems. Oh, niane has been too fancy and he could have put us in danger. But yeah, he's causing us a lot of problems. He's the goal scorer for Mainz. Into Koo then again. Koo going through. Koo still going with the ball at his feet. Oh, that's a great challenge by Khaled. It comes back to Koo. Nilsson got on it and it's bouncing all over the place. And Ogdazaki heads it over the bar. Thank Whoa. God for that. Well played, Nilsson. Now Vilshuk, come on, son. Out wide into Kaleem. Kaleem into Sonogo. So no going towards Niani. Niani helps it, keeps it going towards Vilshot. And he just couldn't quite get his foot around it. Good work move there from Frankfurt. Niani involved in it. Set up Vilshot and he just couldn't quite steer it into that near post. So it's a free kick in a dangerous position for Mainz. Is it one from the training ground or is he going to hit it? He has and it's beaten Nilsson. And that is an unbelievable free kick. And we are struggling just before half time. Mainz doubled their lead. It was cool with the free kick. It was a superb finish. And we have got a mountain to climb now. It's 2 0 to Mainz. Go on, Niane. Go on, Niane. Go on, Niane. Go on, Niane. It's a great run by Niane. He's fouled, surely. It's a penalty. And Niane's little worldy run has awarded us a penalty. A lifeline back in this. It's a yellow card. It's got to be red. It's got to be red to, in my eyes. Shut up, Alan Smith. It's not a sensible decision. He was the, probably the last man who was going away from goal. And he just took a chunk out of Niane's legs. And the referee did award the penalty. And it has given us a lifeline to get back into this game. Niane is going to take this penalty kick then for us. Up his steps. Niane makes no mistake. And he's got us back in level in front of the Frankfurt travelling supporters. He's got us back in the game round for I did say get back level. Yeah, I'm just so excited. And I just can't contain my excitement with the words I'm saying. And it was a good penalty. Smashed into the top corner. And he's got us back in back level. And it's a, you have to say it's a lifeline. 
Circling then in towards Sonogo. Sonogo, it's a great ball in towards Kadira. Kadira then inside the area will hit it and he's put us back on level terms. And it's Kadira back from injury. Oh, you can see he's excited by that. It's 2 2. And what a game we have on our hands now. Kadira, mate, you are a legend already in the making. Niani and Kadira are just superb in this, boys. They're fantastic. And it was a good finish. What about the ball from Sonogo, though? Let's give him credit. And Kadira had the keeper in his mercy and he just smashed it past him. It's 2 2. In towards Mali. Mali back to Park. Park inside to Hawk. Laid off, the shot could come in. It has done what a save by Nilsson. Great goalkeeping. This game is end to end now. It really is entertaining. It's okay, we're doing enough well. Here's Hawk. Oh, he skipped past the challenge there. Hawk's gone past another man. The shot comes in and he dragged his shot wide. And that was so hard to defend against. The great agility shown by the Mainz player, or however you pronounce the frigging name. Nyane needs some support inside, he's got it with Sekulin then, looks to find Kadira, there's a man over in Sonogo, he's done well, Sonogo hits it first time, good strike, good save, should have hit it across the goalkeeper to be fair, and we was queuing up then to have an opportunity on goal. Mainz then, it's end-to-end -end stuff, Evans is in there with a the challenge, and Leververs in there as well, and it's behind everybody, here is Ku, careful with your challenge, well done Kadira. Kadira, laid inside to Nyane, who's this... It's Sekulin outside of him. Sekulin then will cut inside. Still Sekulin. So what's he going to do? He's going to lay it off to Niane. Niane then is going to cross it in towards Overtoom. He won't stretch for it. And it's Overtoom will chase it to keep it in play. Here's Colleen. He will cross it in towards Sekulin. It comes to Niane. Oh my God. Can you imagine if that went in? And that is the full time whistle. And it's 2 2. What a game that was there. It was really entertaining. That was probably the best game I've enjoyed. Um, in Series 2 so far and we did enough to earn ourselves a draw. It's finished 2-2 for the second leg then in the final of the Bundesliga playoff. Your starting 11 is exactly the same as the starting 11 that played in the first leg up towards Niane. Niane's got that change of pace and he goes past the challenge like it wasn't there. Niane then will cut inside. Niane with a good ball through to Sonogo. Then inside the area, Sonogo will shoot. And he drags his shot wide. He should have played it inside. And the score still remains 0-0. Advantage played by the referee. There could be a chance to get across in his back heeled. Tanelli, whatever he's called, now into Moritz. One goes Bueller, edge of the area is Debias, and it's a good challenge, and it has to be, and it's a shocking ball, and Nilsson with a, whoa, what a save that was, great reactions by him, and it shouldn't have happened in the first place, it was messing about, trying to be fancy, I think it was Bullet in the area with it, do them stupid passes, so speaking of stupid passes, there's another one, well done. So Niane is going to swing this corner in, into it goes towards the headers, it's Kadira. And he goes just wide of the post, very unlucky. Hit ball towards Koo. It was a great pass there. Here is Slate, crosses it in. Nilsson's come, not got there. And Shaheen has got in there with a header. And that is 1-0. And as, as things stand, we will be playing Bundesliga 2 football next season. And I'm not sure what happened there. It was Bullet that needed to make sure he won that header. And it's 1-0 to Mainz. So it's a corner then to Mainz. 25 minutes left of the game. Headed down. And it's Odizaki into Moritz who shoots and it's gone in and that's 2-0. And that is probably that. Nilsson didn't see, he got a hand to it. He went through a bit, lot of bodies inside the box. And Moritz has put, that's probably, that's it boys, unfortunately. I can't fault the guys. Oh, Nilsson should have done a lot better with that, to be fair. Looking at the replay, he can see it. It was a powerful strike. And why, word, what is he doing there? And it's 2-0. Here's cool. Look how stretched we are at the back. The Bayers, well done, Bullet. That's a great challenge. Well, it's probably that, boys, with five minutes left. They've worked hard for me, have the Frankfurt players. It just wasn't going to be, unfortunately. The players are so tired. It's towards the end of the season. The fatigue has definitely kicked in in this last game. And unfortunately, we will have to play another season in Bundesliga 2. Vilshut will play it towards Sonogo. Look how many bodies there is. We just can't seem to beat them. Here's Lever, though. Have a dig, son. It has done. And it's gone over the bar. And that is that. The referee has blown for full time. Unfortunately, we will have to play again in the Bundesliga 2. To be fair, boys, if I'm being completely and utterly honest with myself, I feel that's not a bad thing at all. It's finished. Frankfurt 0, Mainz 2. 
So then, boys, that is this episode and the season complete. We know we're going to be playing the Bundesliga 2 next season. I'm not I'm not bothered about that, guys, because, you know, if you take a look at it, on the other hand, we have finished in third place. We've done extremely well. We have overachieved as well. We've been fantastic. I can't fault the guys ever. They just ran out of steam towards the end of the last game, unfortunately. But, however, we've done well. I'm happy with it. And I don't think it will be a bad thing. Like I said in the commentary, it is going to be a good thing. We can push on and go for the automatic promotion. It will be a tough, tough league to get out of because you've got the likes of Nuremberg still in there, 1860 Munich, Kaiserslautern still there. You've also got the two Bundesliga sides to come down and we're not sure who they are at this current time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That is it for Series 2, Season 1 with FSV Frankfurt. We go on to the next season. I'll see you guys next season. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you have enjoyed this video. And I will see you all later on. And goodbye.